Hey guys, it's Tyler, and in this video, we're gonna be making a slider. It's one of the coolest sliders I have ever seen. So let's go ahead and make it. So first we go to our dashboard, and now we need a slider plugin. So we click on plugins, and we click on add new. Once we do that, we can search for plugins. Let's search for slider, S-L-I-D-E-R, and press enter. And this one is smart slider. So if you don't see it here, then you might wanna type in smart slider. And this is what it looks like. And this is really one of the best sliders I've ever used. So, and it's free, which is always super awesome. So click on install now. And once we do that, we can press activate plugin. Now that we've activated plugin, we're gonna see this smart slider over here on the left and go ahead and click on it. Once we do that, we're gonna see the place where we can add all of our slides. Uh, it gives us a sample slider right here so we can actually click on it. And we can copy this short code and try out the sample slider. So this one has three slides, one, two, three. And if we copy this code, it will insert uh, this slider anywhere we, where we put this code. So let's copy it and let's go back to our uh, homepage, but let's hold command or control, command if you're on a Mac or control if you're on a PC and click visit site. So it opens up a new tab. All right, so now um, we're using Page Builder, but obviously you can use a regular WordPress editor or whatever uh, WordPress editor you want. I really like the Page Builder because it doesn't have any spacing on the sides. Um, this is Page Builder with the Tesseract theme. All right, so I'm using Page Builder, so just click on that, but you can use anything that you want. And I'm gonna put in a column, so I'm gonna drag in a column. But right now we can see that this, um, this column, it doesn't, this row and column, it doesn't go all the way across. So our slide will be in a little box and we want our slider to be full width. We want it to go all the way across. So we can click on this um, wrench right here on row settings and we can make it full width and we can make the content width full width. And when we do that, this is gonna get, um, go all the way to the side. Once we do that, we have to still do a little more. We have to click on advanced and make sure there's no padding. That's more spacing on the, on the sides. So we're gonna go zero, tab, zero, tab, zero, tab, and zero. All right, and we're gonna press save. And now we're gonna add some more content and we are going to add a text editor because we need to paste in that code somewhere. So go ahead and drag in the text editor and again, go to advanced and make sure it doesn't have any spacing. So this is all 20 pixels of spacing. We don't want that. So it's zero, 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 and zero. And we press save. Uh, no, not save yet. We need to paste in the code. So go to general and click on text, not visual. Make sure you click on text and paste in that code. All right, once it's in there, um, we can press save and it's gonna look really funky right now, but if we press done and publish changes, we can look at it and it'll look really, really great. So look at that. And we can click next and it goes next. And some of these things are links and everything like that. So even though that looks really great, we wanna make our own slider and not you know this one. So how do we do that? Well, we go back to the smart slider then I'm gonna click on sliders up here. And I'm going to click on create slider right here. Now it's asking me what kind of slider I want and how big do I want it to be. So I'm just gonna say I want this to be 1400 by 600 because that makes it pretty um, a pretty big slider. This is just the width and the height um, in pixels. So that, that will make it all the way across just fine. And I'm gonna do default, but obviously you can choose whatever one you want. And I'm gonna name it Homepage Slider. And I'm gonna press Create. And now it's gonna ask us on the left side to add in some images. So I'm just gonna go to tyler.com 
and I'm going to search for some images. Um, I think there's images on the create a homepage lesson right here, number 19. And I'm going to download the images. All right, so I'm just saving those to my desktop and uh, unzipping them um, and opening them up. So we can see right here uh, we have all of the all of the images here, and so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put them in here. So let me do that. Um, so I think I want three of them. One. And then I'm just going to hold Command or Control. If you're on a Mac, you can hold Command. If you're on a PC, you can hold Control to select multiple ones. Um, this one and this one. So these three, I'm just going to select. You can also do it one at a time. I'm just going to drag them over here, and they're going to upload like magic. All right, now it's asking me which one do I want as my home page slider. Um, and we can set that by clicking set this one as first. I mean your first slider. Now your homepage slider. So set this one as first, and now that one will show up first. So now we can go ahead and click and copy this, and we can go to our website and edit, uh, click on page builder, and just go ahead and replace um, this by clicking on the wrench and replace it with that short code. All right, so that was this short code right here we just copied and we pasted right into there and press save and press done and publish changes all right so now we can see that we have ourselves a little slider and it looks pretty cool but it looks a little empty it's missing you know buttons and and links and and all that good stuff and this is uh this navigation thing is a little um, light, maybe we want it to match the orange. Um, so how do we do all that? Well, that's pretty easy. So um, we have general things here to do it. You know, how is there animations and, and everything like that. So you can do no animations or vertical animations or you can fade out and that will fade out between transitions. Um, so we can click on that and press save and then refresh our website and then now it'll have a fade out transition see how it's fading instead of sliding so that's really cool I mean I like the horizontal the the best and then we have different um, arrow styles here and I think I want the color to be a different color so you know I could just put any color I want here or put in my own color code if I have my own um, color code here which I do. So that's orange. Oh, that's a hover color. We could just copy that. Or we could just make it like that. All right. So we made that orange and we can press save and we can see, you know, we can go back and we can refresh and we can see if that, you know, okay. So now we have an orange navigational color here, which is pretty awesome. All right, so how do we do things like add buttons or put on text um, and things like that? So maybe we want instead of this right here, we want that to be, you know, up here on this slide. So how do we go ahead and do that? So we go back to the smart slider and we click on the actual slide that we want to change that for. So just click on it. And once we do that, we're going to get into this another section here where we can add headings and text and everything like that. And below here, there's going to be a preview. So we can preview it um, and to see what it looks like. All right, so we're going to add um, maybe a heading. And the heading is going to be called um, Google Cardboard. All right, so we can see what that looks like and it's white right now, so that's not gonna really work for us. If we click on style, we can make it you know, a, a different color. Um, this is the background color though. So we can press cancel and we can go to font and make sure that color is you know, a different color. Maybe we don't want it all the way black, but maybe we want it you know, kind, of, kind of close to black. And maybe we don't want it this font, maybe we want it open sands so it looks a little sleeker and maybe 36 is okay 
that looks pretty good. And so we apply that. Now, it's not positioned exactly in the right place, especially if we have a smaller screen. So this is a bigger screen and a smaller screen. And so we want it positioned maybe on the small screen. Let's do it. Let's do it on a medium screen right here, right? But now if we slide it over, yeah, it works pretty good. All right, so now we need some more text. So let's go ahead and grab this text. And let's put this back to 1400 and let's add text to this uh, slider. So let's add text to it and we're going to position the text right below here. And we're going to paste in that text. All right, and just get it positioned right. And we're going to see if how it works. And that works pretty good. So once we do that, we can press save and we can check our work. So let's go ahead and go up here and refresh. And we can get to the slide and that's looking pretty good. I really like that. All right, so now what do we do? Let's add a, um, let's add like a, a about um, button right here. Let's see if we can add one to the top right. And let's make it clickable so that we can go to um, another page. So we just go to slides and let's click on this slide. So it opens up that new um, settings area and let's click on button. All right, so now if we go down here, it's gonna preview the button and it's green and not, you know, not the color we want. Um, so let's go ahead and change that. So under style, you just click on it. And instead of it being the background being green, let's make the background maybe orange so it matches everything. All right, then we can press apply. And we have this more button here, but it's not exactly in the right area. So, um, well, first, before we change the area, let's give it a link. So um, this more is going to go to the about us and let's change the text to about. All right, let's make it all capital also. About, there we go. All right, so this is gonna go to the about uh, page. So that is, and if we click on the about, we can see, we can see that it's yourwebsite.com forward slash about. So we can go ahead and um, uh, make it forward slash about. And we don't need to make it capital, even though we can. All right, and once we do that, we can, um, let's go ahead and move this button. So we don't want it here, we want it in the top right, let's say. All right, and let's see how that is if we go small and how it is if we go really big. And that's looking pretty good. And maybe we can make it a little more to the right. And there we have it. And maybe we can make this one a little more to the left. All right, so there we have it. Um, we can press save and we can go to um, our website, our homepage. And we can see that we have this cool about and if we click on it, it will go to our about page, which is awesome. Obviously, if you have more time, you can make this a lot fancier. I just wanna do an overview of the really cool features. So let's do the same thing with the with our contact page. Let's click on it and let's make a button and let's call this contact us. And let's look at it, let's preview it. So it's that green color again, so we can click on style and we can make it not that green color, some other color, maybe that orange color again. And we can press apply and we want the link to go to the forward slash contact, whoops, forward slash contact page. All right, if we want the um, button to maybe be a little bigger, we can click on it and we can make the font size a little bigger 
or the line height a little bigger. And so that's pretty, that's a pretty big button. So press apply and it's already in the center, which is what we want. It looks really cool on small devices and it looks really cool on big devices. So that's pretty cool. We can press save and we can refresh and we can check our work. So we have the about, we have this one, we have the contact. So that's pretty cool. Maybe we want this whole um, uh, image to be a link though. So how do we do that? Let's go to slides. Let's click on our slide here. And right here where it says link, we can do forward slash services and we can press save and we can refresh and now when we go back to here we can click on it and it'll go to our forward slash services page all right so um what else do we need to do let's learn how to put in a video so that's really cool so we can just go to um youtube.com and we could look for any video that we want, um, maybe this one. And all we need to do is copy this right here. So I've already copied it. I have um, my video, my uh, 2016 video, step-by-step -step, that I've um, already copied. So let's go ahead and add in a new image. So let's go to slides and add image slide and we're going to add a video and it's just going to say what's the video url what's the video link so we do that and then we press add and now it adds right here but i really want to drag it and rearrange the order so that it's first and i want to set this to first all right, and this is my 2016 step-by-step -step video. If you haven't seen it, it is really awesome. It shows you how to make this website step-by-step. -step. All right, so press save. And we can go back to our home page, and we can see that we have the video here. And if we click on it, um, you can see the three hour and 15 minute video step-by-step. Um, -step. And we can go to the next slides and the next slides in the next slides. So that is really awesome. Um, yeah, I think that is about it for the slider. Um, there is another thing, uh, if you want it to show up on mobile devices, right now it shows up fine. So we can click hold and we can drag and it'll drag really small. And we can still, it still, you know, it still works. But what if we don't want to show it on mobile devices at all? What we can do is we can, and this is only for page builder, we can click page builder and we can go to the row settings and go to advanced and say only display on medium, large and medium devices only and press save and press done and publish changes. So now what that's going to do is if we go to a really small screen like a phone or something, it's actually going to disappear. All right, so that's that's pretty cool. Maybe you maybe you don't want a slider if, if they're on a really small phone. So um, after that, we can go to Page Builder just to clean it up, and we can delete this one right here because we don't need it anymore. So just exit out of here. Okay. And now we have a really cool page. So please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. I hope that you really like this video. A lot of people have been requesting it. Um, go to tether.com and take the course if you want to. And thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. I hope you liked the video.